Hello guys, my name is Erks, and today I promise <laughs> I will be finishing up the series on 300, or I mean the battle, the true battle that happened in the movie 300. And okay, so we already talked about the first day of battle, which was pretty cool, and now we're going to be finishing up the last couple days. So yeah, let's get into it. On the second day, uh, Xerxes sent his infantry in again, but this really wasn't that well justified of an idea because what ended up happening is he was like okay well you know i'm sure they're kind of wounded by now so maybe if i send in another wave of the people that <laughs> got completely demolished i'll make some headway and no that is not what happened they got raped again and so yeah they just died and uh they really made no headway against the spartans at all so xerxes came back to his uh his planning camp where he set up his tent and he was like, okay, well, fuck. <laughs> I do not know what to do. Um, later, on that second day though, he was thinking like, okay, well, yeah, I'm still fucked. Still fucked. And what happened is Ephialtes, which was this traitor uh, to the Spartans, and I guess all of Greece, uh, he's the little, like, I don't know, kind of like hunchback sort of freak show that goes in. Um, that asks uh, Xerxes for like money and women and power and men. <laughs> that's really, <laughs> that's not that funny. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, what happened is that uh, Ephialtes went in there, and this whole time there was a, a pass, like the, um, a pass in the mountains that the Persians could have used to cut around um, the, the hot gates so that they could just completely encircle these Spartans and just like, you know, uh, pincer attack them from both sides. But what happened is that uh, Leonidas knew that from the start because he had talked to some locals. And so when he talked to those locals, he's like, okay, well, that'd be really bad. So he got a, a group of uh, Phocians, I think, or something like that, a PH something something. And he sent them up there. Um, I think that's just like another kind of Greeks, but he sent them up there to guard this little pass so that they wouldn't get fucked. Um, but what happened is that Ephialtes knew about that too, and I'm not sure if he knew that, uh, that troops were already positioned there in counterattack. But in any case, he came to Xerxes with this news and he was like, Hey, you could actually cut around these guys and then you could like attack them from both sides. And so, you know, Xerxes was like, okay, well, that's really good because, you know, right now we're kind of screwed. So, yeah, thank you. And so he's like, okay, I'm going to go up there. And that's what he did. Okay, so on the third day, you've got Xerxes' army moving up through the mountain pass and encountering some Phocians. And the Phocians, and it's P-H-O-C-I-A-N-S, just in case you want to look it up, hear him and they're like, oh, shit. And so what happened is that they just like, they started backing up because they thought that the Persians were there to kill them. But that really wasn't the case, but they didn't know. But um, because of that, they backed up to this hill and they retreated, you know, they retreated to this hill, I should say. And they took a defensive position. But in doing that, they also got out of the way so that the Persians could get by. And that's really what the Persians wanted. So that's what the Persians did. They just passed them completely and these Phocians were just like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> I, ooh, I kind of fucked that up. And so, yeah, that's what happened. Leonidas heard about it, and he was like, okay, well, if they're about to move in on us from the other side, then I've got to do something. So what he did is he ordered, like, almost all of the Greeks, uh, except for 1,500 of the, the 5,000, I guess, to go home. So everyone is there, um, minus... 3,500, or I guess I should say everyone goes home except for 1,500. And so he ordered them to go home. Uh, actually, there are a lot of differing views on why he sent them to go home. And so one view, I guess you could say, is that, uh, you know, there was no reason for them to die because, like, they could just fight another day and that'd be much better in the long run than just having them die um, in vain, essentially. Uh, maybe not completely in vain, but just in fighting out, like, such a, a bad battle that, you know, is bound to go terribly awry. And so, yeah, that's what he did. He was like, okay, you guys go home. And, uh, yeah, that's the explanation I like the most, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to stick with. So, eventually, the Persians did come around, and they flanked 
the uh, the Spartans and you know however many like 1200 other Greeks there were and yeah eventually uh, well see Leonidas died Leonidas did not die in his epic fashion as uh, he did in the movie he was just like shot down by arrows at some point during the battle and there's actually like they kind of fight uh, they they fought over his body um, like during the war or this little battle I mean uh, you know just because like they didn't want the Persians to desecrate it or whatever and that's actually what Xerxes commanded to do once he won the body like in this little like tug of war and uh, yeah uh, the Persians were actually kind of surprised at what he wanted to do he wanted to like decapitate him and like put uh, Leonidas's head on a stick or something like that and it's just it was really like not cool as far as Persians were concerned normally because that was really like they usually honored the great warriors of uh, you know of these battles and so to you know desecrate his body like that was just really like out of line and what Xerxes ended up doing was tearing down this wall that was a uh, kind of like part of the hot gates I guess and what they did is he just commanded them to rain down arrows until every Greek was dead and so actually in 1939 when this archaeologist went back to excavate the site he found a shitload of these bronze arrowheads um, at this hill where uh, the Greeks had like kind of backed up to to surrender. Uh, well, yeah, so that about wraps it up. If you guys want to know how that invasion ended up, I'm pretty sure that the Greeks ended up repelling uh, the Persian forces. And uh, yeah, so it ended up being a success for the Greeks, I guess. So anyway, if you like this or if you want me to, you know, add on a little bit more about like what this battle means or or um i don't know what happened after like more of what happened after then just you know let me know and yeah i'll be happy to do that but at this point i'm ready to just say like okay well i'm done with this and so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and bye